Hello friends, today I bring to you the daily current affairs quiz for September 1, 2016 from gktoday.in. So moving on to question number 1. Which state has become the first Indian state to have implemented public fund management system that is PFMS, A. Uttar Pradesh, B. Jharkhand, C. Rajasthan or D. Jammu and Kashmir? So the correct choice is B, that is Jharkhand. It has become the first Indian state to have implemented public fund management system. Moving on to question number 2. India Chem 2016, that is international conference, has started in which of the following cities? A. New Delhi, B. Jaipur, C. Mumbai or D. Chennai? So the correct choice is C. Mumbai. The ninth edition, the ninth edition of this mega event that is India Chem 2016 India Chem 2016 International Conference has been inaugurated by Anand Kumar Anand Kumar who is a Union Minister for Chemicals and Petrochemicals Government of India and Government of India and Fiji now, the purpose of this particular event is to highlight the investment possibilities in India India's chemical industry and to give a fillip to make in India. So the primary purpose is to highlight the investment possibilities in India's chemical industry in uh, Indian chemical industry and also to give a fillip to make in India campaign. So in this three-day international exhibition and conference, approximately 23 countries, uh, that is China, Japan, Russia, Spain, USA, Germany, Italy, Brazil, etc., along with partner states like Arunachal Pradesh, Gujarat and Odisha are participating as exhibitors, delegates and as visitors. Moving on to question number three. Who has been appointed as a new Chancellor of the Energy and Resources Institute, that is Terry University? A. Mehant Kumar, B. Disha Nehwal, C. Ashok Chavla, or D. Lalit Jain? So the correct choice is C, that is Mr. Ashok Chavla, who is a former Union, Union Finance Secretary and has been appointed as a new Chancellor for the, of the Energy and Resources Institute, that is Terry University. Now, currently, he is serving as chairman of Theory since February 2016. Moving on to question number 4. Who has been appointed as the United Nations Women's Advocate for Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment in India? A. Madhuri Dixit, B. Deepika Padukone, C. Ashwarya Dhanush or D. Priyanka Chopra? So the correct choice is Ashwarya Dhanush who is a noted filmmaker and actor and has been appointed on this coveted uh, post in India and will uh, boost organization's efforts to close the gender gap and achieve a more equal world, a planet 50-50 by 2030. So it will, uh, she will be instrumental in closing the, close the gender gap and achieve a more equal world that is a planet 50-50 by the year 2030. Now the appointment, uh, this particular appointment has been announced by Lakshmi Puri. Lakshmi Puri who is Union Assistant Secretary General and UN Women Deputy Executive Director. Now, with this, uh, Ashwarya Dhanush joins other celebrities like actor-director Farhan Akhtar, tennis star Sania Mirza, British actor Emma Watson, Hollywood star Nicole Kidman and Annie Hathaway, Princess Bajra Kitiava Mahidol of Thailand, who have joined hands with UN Women to work for gender equality and empowerment of women. Moving on to question number 5. The Saloom Festival has started in which state of India? A. Manipur, B. Tripura, C. Arunachal Pradesh or D. Nagaland? So the correct choice is C. 
Arunachal Pradesh. Now Solong is basically now this particular festival Solong is basically an agro based five day five day festival and is celebrated by the Adi tribe is celebrated by the Adi tribe in the first week of September. Now it reflects socio religious features of these Adi people. It reflects the socio religious features and beliefs of Adi people. Now people perform various rituals and make offerings to gods and goddesses during this celebration and pray for a bumper harvest. So they pray for basically a bumper harvest. Bumper harvest. Now Mithun, the great uh, Mithun, the great Indian bison, the great Indian bison. Bison, bison, whose sacrifice is given during the celebration is considered as a holy animal and it occupies an important religious significance among the Adis. Now people present gifts of meat and a pong. So people they give gifts of uh, meat and a pong. A pong that is also known as rice beer. To neighbors and their relatives on this particular occasion, thus cementing family and social relationships. Another very important feature of the festival is uh, care and protection of animals, which are vital components of the family and social life. So this, uh, they also stress on care and protection of animals. Now it is celebrated during uh, the months of July to August and that correspond to the Adi months of Taunu and Yui. So the time of the celebration should, uh, actually corresponds to the Adi months of Taunu and Yuyo respectively. Now the date is fixed by Kibang. Now this date of the festival is usually fixed by the Kibang. What is Kibang? They are the village council. Village. So once the dates are announced, people start preparing the apong or rice beer. Now it is celebrated throughout the Siang district. Now this festival is celebrated throughout the Siang, dis Siang district and by Adis of Lohit district. This is a very important festival for the Adi tribe. Moving on to question number 6. India's first international conference on cooking gas was held in which city? A. Kochi, B. Chennai, C. Bhuvaneswar or D. New Delhi. So the correct choice is C. Bhuvaneswar. India's first international conference in cooking gas has started in Odisha that is at Bhuvaneswar. Now this two day meeting, this is a two day event will deliberate on the need of LPG enabled household. It will stress on LPG enabled household and use of cooking fuels. The event will also focus on the need for problems arising due to absence of cooking gas, the usage of traditional biomass cooking fuels and their impact on both health and environment. So delegates from various countries like Brazil, Ghana, Nigeria, Nepal and Sri Lanka are participating in this particular event. Moving on to question number 7. Who is the newly elected president of Gabon? A. Daniel Ona Ondo, D. Rose Francine Rogombe, C. Jean Peng or D. Ali Bongo Ondemba. So the correct choice is D. That is Ali Bongo Ondemba. So the 2016 Gabonese presidential election has been won by President Ali Bongo Demba. The president here is elected. The president of Gabon is elected for a period of seven years in a single round of voting by plurality. So this it is a single round of voting by plurality. 
which uh, so which ever candidate places first is deemed elected regardless of whether the candidate secured a majority of votes or not so moving on to question number 8 so the brics convention on tourism has started in which world heritage site of india a ajanta caves huma b humayun's tomb c khajuraho or d nalanda mahavihara so the correct choice is c that is khajuraho now the conference started on september 1 and was inaugurated by dr mahesh sharma the union minister of state for tourism and culture now the event will consist of intergovernmental exchange of views and ideas and panel discussions on different subjects including cooperation between the brics countries for promoting the intra regional tourism so this is going to be a very significant event for promotion of intra regional tourism moving on to question number 9 which committee has been constituted by union government to study silt in river ganga in bihar a sk sahu committee b rajneesh ranjan committee c ak sinha committee or d nitish kumar committee so the correct choice is c that is ak sinha committee which has been constituted by union government to study silt in river ganga bihar Uh, which caused devastating floods in the state so this it was the silt in river ganga and bihar which caused which was a cause of devastating mess attaining floods in the state of bihar last question question number 10 kashmiri lal zakir who passed away recently was a famous poet in which language a urdu b marathi c telugu or d tamil so the correct choice is A Urdu. Now, Kashmiri Lal Zakir was a well-known poet, novelist, and a short story writer. So he was a well-known poet. He was a well-known novelist and a short story writer, and has recently passed away at Chandigarh. His notable works include. Uh, he has given a lot of notable works: a Ghazal anthology, uh, Ab Mujhe Sone Do, Teen Sehre Ek Sewal. etc so with this we come to a close of today's quiz thank you so much